Good evening and welcome everyone. We are glad you are all here tonight for our first part of our two-part program for Children's Sabbath. We, the children, have prepared this program for you and most of all, to God. May His name be glorified and not ours. Let us start with an opening prayer. Please close your eyes for opening prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for this beautiful Sabbath morning. Please be with us as we worship and learn more about you. Please give us strength during this time of the coronavirus. Help us not to be afraid because we know that you are you are with us. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing our prayer. Amen.
definitely the sound of a lion. I don't think lions live in the church. They live in Africa. We should be brave and open the box. Wait, don't do it. It's too scary. Maybe it's a big gorilla and maybe he's hungry and ready to gobble us up. Gorillas don't live in the church. They live in the jungle. something in there and I'm going to go check it out. <clears throat> hey, I can't open the box. Can you help me? I know you're not stronger than me. Um, uh, maybe. I don't know. But aren't you afraid of the noise coming from the box? Well, I know we don't know what's inside the box, but but being brave doesn't mean that I'm scared. It means that I can trust in God. Besides, maybe what's inside the box is stuck. We can help it, right? You're sure? Absolutely, positively sure. All right. On the count of three, we'll open the box. One, One two, two, three. three. Thank goodness you guys came along. I thought I was going to be stuck in that box forever. Dad, what are you doing in there? Well, to make a long story short, I was looking for supplies in this big box. And then I fell in, and the lid closed tight on me. And I kept rallying around, hoping somebody would help me out. But anytime somebody came by, they got scared. So I'm so glad that you were brave enough and strong enough to get that lid off. Thank you, Kiska. You're welcome, but I didn't do it alone. Really? Joseph helped. I may have been strong enough to open the lid, but he was the real brave one. He reminded me that we can always trust in God. And he came along with me so I didn't have to open the box alone. Wow, so both of y'all were strong and courageous. That's right, with God's help, of course. Well, I'm glad that both of y'all could learn to rely on God. Us too. Well, what do you say we get this big box out of the way? Oh, oh, it's a lot heavier than I remember. I'm afraid I won't be able to move it. Don't be afraid. We can help. Yeah, we are strong and courageous too. Because, because God, God is with us. Our skit about the box illustrated something important. Our two children saw the box but didn't know what was inside. That is what made the box so scary. Many times in life there are things that we encounter that feel big and scary. We may not know what to do when we feel afraid, but there are so many scripture promises of why we can be brave because of God's presence. Our children are going to share a few of those verses for you. Deuteronomy 31 8. The Lord Himself goes before you and will be with you. He never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23 4. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold in my life. Of whom shall I be afraid of? Psalm 27, 1. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you, in God whose word I praise. In God I trust, and I am not afraid. Psalms 56, 3 to 4. John 14, verse 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Romans 8, 31. Joshua 1, verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong of good courage. Don't be afraid. Not be dismayed. For the Lord, your God is with you wherever you go. Believe it, believe God. What a blessing these verses are. Each one says it's in, in its own way that God will never leave us. When we know that God is with us, we do not need to be afraid. He is present, He is active, and He is listening to us. In the name of the Kirin, I will be doing the prayers. Let's bow our heads. Father above, you sent Jesus as the ultimate example of how we should act. 
Your words give us instructions on how to love others. I pray that you transform us to be the example to everyone around us. I pray that you make our words kind and helpful. Our love pure, our spirit encouraging, our faith strong, our hearts pure. Especially during these pandemic times. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hope everyone's faith and strength got magnified by watching that skit and hearing God's promises. See you again tomorrow at 10.30 in the morning through our church's Facebook page and be more inspired by God through the children. Thanks everyone for being here tonight. Happy Sabbath.